to be able to come back home to where I grew up and and uh, see all the family and friends. All the, the races that we do throughout the year, there's really nothing that compares to this one. This I feel like this is kind of the biggest one for Jeremy and I on the schedule, so it's good to be home. <laughs> I think it's, it's awesome to have a supporting family in motocross. Obviously, this is what my mom and dad do so um, for a living, so I, they're going to support me 100% because this is what I decided to do for a living and for my career, and um, everyone's into it, you know, and we all work hard. Obviously, I don't think any of us would be here if it wasn't for our parents growing up because it's not, it's not really a, like a stick and ball sport where you can just go to Walmart and buy it for 20 bucks and, and go play. Uh, there's a lot involved, a lot financially, uh, as well as the travel. I'm lucky to have had a supporting family and then also lucky to have grown up here at Spring Creek with uh, all the tracks and everything that we have available. You know, Jeremy and I kind of have a full-time job with racing, so, and we really don't spend much time here either. When we were younger growing up, uh, yeah, we did definitely our fair share of work. Our, my dad put us to work. The worst is probably when you're, I mean, we'd have to take the, the big garbage barrels and like dump them in the garbage truck and it's just like leaking all over you, all the garbage coming out the bottom. Yeah, I'd, I'd second that. That's nothing worse than like when a pop, pop can it starts popping it and it comes down your leg or something like that. It's just nasty. <laughs> a guy we've known for a long time, Roger, the tracker guy, and, and I always had a girlfriend growing up so he would always call me Romeo. Romeo, what's up? He said he was, he was in love and he was distracted all the time and they called me, uh, well, I was many different names. Yeah, Bubba, Chubbs, all kinds of things, because he was pretty round growing up and ate a lot of donuts and junk food. Yeah, we could uh, we could definitely be battling the come Saturday with my brother. Um, he's really stepped it up a lot this year. He's making me push even harder to hopefully try to keep a gap on him and uh, so he can't beat me. I'm excited. I think I'm in a position, one of the first time really in my career, that, uh, you know, I potential for a podium and especially potential for both of us on the podium, so I'm really looking forward to that. Being that we grew up here, it's, it's, it's a type of place where uh, you can't really ever see like, our family selling it to someone else. Uh, you know, we just have so many memories here. A place that I'd like to definitely take over one day with my brother and my sister. Um, I think that's a ways down the road still. I still kind of have my goals, personal goals in motocross. You know, like home is where the heart is, and we grew up here, so I don't know if we could ever, like, I don't know if I could ever I can move away for now, but I eventually want to come back here, and I'm pretty sure Alex will build on the property, um, and maybe build like a hobbit home out of the out of the out of the hill over there, and then uh, I might have a cabin over here. So mom and dad are going to be in good company in the future. <laughs> I am. Um, I'm going to leave for a good 30 plus two.